this will be the full process of the new printer. First thing is the select language. Yeah, we what do we? I only can select English. And the machine after build, we will show you this. And then of course we need to set up the process. And you will run a self test to check the, any common problem. Let's say if I put a wiring wrong, you will notice. So safety started. So first thing is to check the excluder fan. This one it will rotate. So and then it will check the. So it will ask you the left hot end fan is spinning or not so look at the status the left hot end fan is this one is not spinning so I click yes not spinning and then the fan test the front fan spinning or not yes spinning and both are tested ok we're going to check the XYZ direction it will move itself there is no end stop it will just move itself and check okay I will check and then XYZ the C will come down Okay, 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 and bad now is testing a heat up temperature. While waiting, I found there's one more thing I'm not assembly yet. The spool holder. Spool holder is simple. It's injection motor part. Just go in, rotate. Just go in, rotate. And then hang behind on the meter. That's it. That is a full process of assembly. Or then Okay, all correct. Well, all correct in this part. Just now I realized the Z level sensor is too high. So I want to drop it down a little bit. So loose. <coughs> too much, too much. Yeah, I think okay. Something like here.
Okay, so now it's running XYZ calibration. Well, as you see, uh, it, most of them is automatic. It will run for 12 minutes. First step, it will go up to pump into the top. And this is the calibration process. The pumping is fine. I just want to make sure that two, this one is level. So this is normal. It crashed purposely. And then it will stop. And please clean the nozzle if you got anything on top. But this is new. That will be clean up. And then for calibration, click when done. Click. And then is there steel sheet? Uh, the steel sheet I'm not open up yet. Uh, this is a new steel sheet. But I think I'm not going to open it because I'm used mind. And then this will tend which which is now is no, because you don't want it to be on top. Place the stitch the sheet of paper. You know, a paper normal A4 paper will do. Let's put on top, put on bottom in case of uh, scratching on top. If scratching, it will need to be adjust. Uh, before that, I realized that my sensor is still too low. I'm going to put higher a little bit. So, one step. Okay. Knock me back. Try. Not try. Going to do the four point calibration. So, four point is meter, left, right, back. anything let's say they catch the paper or scratch it just pause by this setting oh the four points that four point So you see you're running like a circle pattern pattern and this pattern will follow the dot uh, there is a circle around on the page on the build page and after that the sensor will be caught and then make sure that it's not scratching on the paper when uh, you, you see it will move a little bit not sure you can see or not there's just a tiny movement up down when the sensor pass through the, the, the calibration part Let's go to the second point. Uh, one more thing that's not checked is the filament sensor that need to check manually later. Let's wait for this whole calibration process done. Then we check the, set, the filament sensor. Yeah, we're rolling, so I skip this part. Fast forward.
the key point is the nozzle should not scratch move the paper because now calibration is not supposed to touch the paper Okay, now the four point calibration is done. Take out the paper, it will ask you to put on the steel sheet, which is this one. I have to open I have to open up at the final stage. Okay, this is the new one, the fresh. Oh come on, don't stop. Try not to touch the middle of the bed because when your fingers drop oil on top, you need to wash it. Look at the light. Well smooth. So to put it on is to there are two screw behind. Push it in, then hand on the corner. Remember, hand on the corner. Otherwise, this magnet is very strong; it will hurt your finger. So place this steel sheet on heat back. Okay, and it will start to measure nine point, which is this nine point. You can set up to 49, 49 point. So if you really need that kind of accurate. Calibration. So the first time is really slow. Well, because you need to make sure everything works fine. That's why it's slow. This makes sense. Okay, the machine basically fully built. Just left one more thing is to check out the filament sensor. Uh, I will use this. Left out freedom to try. And congratulations, if you miss it like this. If you got any assembly wrong, it will show up the error or which part is not uh, not correct, then you need to check. But then so is it it will automatic straightforward go into the testing because there are one more calibration process called uh, landing well Nope. Then you race up, you heat up for PLA the first time. Then I got one a little bit of PLA here. Jung, 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 jung. Let's do it for first time calibration. Once the calibration done, the printer is uh, basically done. Because this time this will check your filament sensor as well. The whole printer, the most tricky part is the filament sensor because it's used magnetic to check. Wait, uh, wait for it. So we're gonna go for two and five degree. When I decide to hang on top, it will be easy. Mm -hmm. So please insert PI. Take extrude, press the knob to load it. The process of this, it will not check your filament sensor at the first place. So, well, whatever. 
and now the the provided tools got this you can use this to clean the to take out the filament from the nozzle so to be aware do not touch it as you can see there's 210 degree 215 degree it's very hot it's very hot so now the filament's gone okay now we calibrate the distance between tip nozzle and the heat vest surface well the filament will keep dripping down as normal so let's start print line yeah going for the handbook uh, for this part you need to check the handbook how to do it to me uh, make sure you're not ex I'm experienced on that so it's fine I'm gonna check it so you will do the nine point calibration again now is to set the offset of the Z lever. What well, as you see that I'm not at the assembly or rotate screw to adjust anything. This is the so what you do is just rotate, let the tip go down. Like a and the it's just like an aeroplane landing. You're landing to the surface and looks good. So a little bit more. Okay, looks good. value is is not important the important is how the thing come out it still look good so but found that it seems like it's the value okay the base the printer basically done total after finish build from calibration to test out, it will roughly step spend 20 minutes from the time you can see. After this print, you need to check one last check. There is the core, the thin core filament sensor. So all this stringing thing basically it's because of I'm using not of non official filament my filament is lower temperature my temperature the melting point is lower so well done I have printing so you can hold the button roll up and use hand to take up some remaining plastic I want to remove the filament now to check the filament sensor unlock filament PLA it will hit automatic heat up to the PLA temperature don't touch the nozzle so when I heat up the temperature, you just hold it, and it will move out the sensor. Okay, this is too too hot for the for my filament. My filament. Okay, what I do now is e make it easy to test. Is first thing you have to go to support, and then go to the sensor. At the bottom sensor in four so they got pinda finda and rr pinda is the z level if you put metal on top and bottom you will see become one yeah. which means it's functioning rr is one if you put sensor in it should be zero but seem like it's not working so this one need to adjust a little bit uh, that's what this is what I say the tricky part. Uh, 
Okay, it should be zero on top. One, on first. No. So this one, yeah, a little bit set, but it's normal. The calibration process, everything is automatic except this IR sensor. Sometimes it's just because of the screws are tight. Let's find my screwdriver in. The small screwdriver. Where is the small screwdriver? Yo. So, this one. Loose it up. You can see the start becomes zero. Once I lose it up, it becomes zero. And I put filament in. It become one. See? Now it's the now only the real full calibration done. Let's cover back. Do not hurt the sensor. This is the protection casing for the sensor actually. If this step, this step, you not check, you may face up though. Somehow the film, like the filament sensor, not working or print until half is stopped automatically. That you don't know what happened. So this is a very important process. Let's try again. So I R is zero. When I put the sensor in, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. zero. Okay. So that is core full calibration done remember this is manually manually done if you don't not done this step it will probably print fair print until you have you keep asking you to change filament or if you find filament run out you will not detect it okay calibration done finish thank you thanks for watching